greetings and salutations of peace. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the Master Blaster Jamming. This discourse reminds me of the Martian Chronicles by one Ray Bradbury, science fiction writer. I ask you to purchase that book, pick that book up, read the story in the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, way up in the middle of the air, way up in the middle of the air. <clears throat> For 401 years, starting at 1607, the white race have had a superior mindset before the black man, his slave. This is reality. When we were said to be free, we, he understood, and so did we. He was the power over us. We were still his negras. We depended uh, on him for our livelihood. He owned everything. Even the poor among the whites knew that their lives were more valuable in the eyes of their rich brothers over us who would be locked up or even killed with a blink of an eye even if we looked at him wrong Lord forbade us to look at his woman he would kill us this fear has been in us for over 401 years to the ignorant crackers out there who will tell me that the slave was not me and his forefather were not him I say to you evil is oft times ignorance not knowing itself to be so my point here is how do you think the white man is going to feel after 401 years there's a black man in the White House and the field hands with that symbol identify and find a new sense of worth and pride. How are you going to feel? What a shock this will be to the white nation. What an upliftment, what a jubilation it will be to the black nation. Some out there notice I only speak of black and white. Well, it's a fact that America is the father country, the most powerful on orbit ship Earth. All else are subservient. Fact is, this divine drama is about the white man enslaving the black. This is scripture being fulfilled in the wilderness of North America. It is of the black man's redemption. So you have to take that up with God, my friend. And as far as you understanding the language, it's called the master blaster jamming. We have moved to another level. We have moved to another level of consciousness. Slavery is over. We are entering into the sixth day of the ancient Maya galactic underworld who were by the way and still are black they were the Anunnaki of Nibiru prepare for the wrath of 2012 and the coming of the holy ship Nibiru you are now in tune on the one the force itself at this time we call it the master blaster jabbing. Think about it. It's going to be a shock. When the riots start, when the white people get upset, don't participate. Protect yourself, black man. Don't participate in the marches. Don't participate in the anarchy. Don't participate in the chaos. Be still and know that Nibiru comes for you. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself at this time, the change is called the Master Blaster Jamming. I am your brother, I tall, I'm an I, UNN 13.
Facebook.com